moment you start videotyping, it's not over. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. But it's that's okay. Chunky. This is actually where the lumbar is, like where you can feel like a bump. So I will cut there. Do you cut after the the kind the, of like the right table? there? Okay. Um, that because sometimes I need to cut a little more. Okay. Um, can if I, feel? I put it. Yes. Yeah, there's like a ridge. Yeah. yeah. Where Do you, you feel like where you cannot go anymore? Yeah. Like here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're cutting like. And right. then the other landmark is honestly like here. Like look at this muscle. Here, like you'd see, like things are kind of like mm -hmm. like that. Okay. So this is usually my lens, and I'll try to go like one like this. Yeah, that's a lot more than we cut for the here. Yeah, that's why I think like you, know, you like that's why when you gave me, it's Hard. already quite a bit on the yeah. lumber, and uh, when I try to get that out, sometimes it lose very important tissue. That's why more actually cutting well, that way helps. I can't, if I cut more, then I would move the scissors. No. You did perfect for me when mm -hmm. when you did the MCC 950, so if we can simply reproduce that, that would be like, great. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is like, we gotta yeah, get yeah, to a right. balance of yeah, yeah. What was the right? And the last one worked. It was, it was really hot. Everything was melting. It was yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah. terrible. And the room was yeah. hot too. Was like, okay. Damn. So I am usually not interested in the thoracic or um, cervical spinal cord at all. That's why I I'd rather try to keep it like a little bit plain. The If it's a clean cut, it helps quite a bit to flush that spinal cord. That's kind of why. Yes, I need a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Sorry, it's okay. But you guys kept the bottle sterile, yes. 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 Okay. That, that stuff was already aliquoted, like under the hood. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. How do this you know? It's pretty dark. Do you see this? Yeah, this there's like a hole right here. here. The way hole. This is where I'm gonna try getting into. Yeah, there's like a hole right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
I mean, like, if it's this broken, I can still actually collect tissue because you... Can we have some more light somehow? Yeah, because no, the lights are being there. They're really gonna light to be No, that light would yeah, work. Yeah, we can turn it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just wanted to show you guys the dorsal part. So if it's this broken, this is still okay because mm -hmm. you kind of like... You can even have flies stitching in. Um, so basically what happened when it was breaking. So that's why the pressure needs to be perfect. This is why. So if this is a column, right? So if there is more pressure on one side, this part kind of like came out mm -hmm. before the whole part came out. Mm -hmm. And that's when it gets broken. If the pressure is kind of like equal, the whole thing comes as straight. But the, still, like I said, the easiest way to find out like where things are is like, do you see this very white pale line mm -hmm. that marks the dorsal part mm -hmm. of the spinal cord? So in reality, it was like this. Yeah. And this is where the sciatic nerve injury was. Mm -hmm. So if you then line up from um, rostral to caudal, Okay. This side is your lumbar spinal cord. Okay. And this is the side you did injury. So that's your EC side. Okay. And then the other side is a okay. contra. So this one clearly broke, but at least I can say, for example, if I lift it, you'll see the ventral looks very different, right? Yeah, there's like, no... Like, it's very plain, very wide. So you would always, even if, if it's out of the body, you can always orient yourself. Mm -hmm. This is ventral and then the other side is dorsal. I have a question by the broke, what do you mean? Like, like this, so this was like were, this, like the, right? Part of the, the whole spinal oh, okay, cord was yeah, like this, okay, okay, yeah, but yeah. then it broke and then when it breaks, the issue is that you need to find which side is which, which is hard to find then, right? Oh, okay, if you yeah. have the whole, maybe next time we will, then it's easier. Okay, so the way I do it, the collection is I always make sure I am doing rostral to caudal and then do you see kind of like after this it kind of like got a little bit fattened around mm -hmm. this side and if I stitch it if I could that would be the lumbar part what happened in reality is like it broke from one side but wouldn't it be How about that, like, rostral a small and piece? caudal no dear Okay, um, I can I can say words wrong, but what I'm trying to say no, no, is no. where the lumbar spinal cord would be, mm -hmm. and um, this this part is like sacral or like um, cauda equina. Is this like do you see all these nerve rootlets coming out? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like here, this is where you're like right here. Mm -hmm. So let's try next time to have a, like a more intact one, but. Essentially where I cut is like here, like I take this to mm -hmm. this part where things kind of like got a little bit fattened. That's where the lumbar enlargement, which is like right at L3 and L4. Okay. And that's where I would cut. So I'll make one cut here and I'll make one cut here. But then I will keep the thing like this so that I know exactly which side is my ipsy and contra. I usually transfer the whole thing on a very ice cage there and then make a cut. And that part, I think I showed you. Yes, you showed me that yeah. part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just that when Andrea gave me the other day, I couldn't show you the whole spider cord thing that, that nice because it was melting kind of thing. <laughs> and that's, that's why I wanted to show you today. Yeah, but like spinal essentially what happened, Andrea, is like this part was uh, actually the lumbar yeah. spinal cord. So this was like this. And do you mm -hmm. see how beautiful it is, like actually, if it, yeah. if you are like can keep it intact, it's actually it's super easy to easy see to where to cut. Yeah. So you want to cut this side, and then you want to also cut this side if you're interested in only the dorsal. So um, yeah. the like this side when it's on the ice. So do you just like? You so for culture study, when I'm doing like this. I usually take the whole lumbar spinal yeah. cord because there hasn't yeah. been any CCI, mm -hmm. so I would simply collect this much yeah, tissue. But for the RNA and for the RNA work, I will cut in here, okay. keep the tissue like this, and then I will like simply put it in there. Okay. And then what happens is it's actually super hard 
to like collect all four at the mm -hmm. same time because things get yeah, frozen. Yeah, yeah. So what I usually do is try to actually make the cut when it's not super frozen. Okay. So what I do is like, I can actually show you really quick with this this part, like imagining that this is the lover's spinal cord. So here. Can I get this? Yes, try it. This oh. mouse has been in there for a while. Should I okay. start yes, with yes. this one? Yes. Let's get that one started. So, so let's say this is this is what I think the lumbar part is, right? So I'll keep like this. I'll keep like this. And I know this is dorsal because you can see that white mm -hmm. line, right? Mm -hmm. I'll transfer this whole thing like here. And the moment I transfer, I cut them and then like flip them. Yeah, I remember it's like and before, then the and then, then, yeah, and then I know like this pieces. part, this, and this. That's four things. So that's four. So this two that I got is actually the ventral, right? Yeah. But so yeah. ventral FC, ventral contra. Whereas yeah. this was DI and this was DC. Yeah, yeah. And then a good question: Would kind of like come out very easily because the the diameter here is larger, right? Yeah. But when you ask like where I put the needle, ideally that's like where the spinal cord should be. Okay. So it's harder to like it's easier to see here, but on the other side it's like tiny white dot. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'll show you. Yeah. Maybe that's where it's I was getting confused. Try but like I said, even I'm out of practice, and that's why this one broke. Like you kind of have to be in practice to kind of feel like where the pressure is. So there are two re big reasons why sometimes it broke. One is like cutting in the like too too far down mm -hmm. because the the hole is really small and you end up breaking with the needle. Mm -hmm. The needle could be a little like you know over the time bent or something. That mm -hmm. could be one reason. And the other thing is the not enough pressure. And for like an actual those are like usually the main like you would use a new needle. So all I'm doing here is like isolating the column itself, right? Oh, I that's see the, the that's the no. Oh, that that's the trachea. The, the trachea. Okay. The hole is like here, like where okay. the spinal cord is. Okay. You want to simply try cutting as far as you can go, and you'll see. Like if you do that. And if you simply flip it like this, mm -hmm. um, so this is where I'm gonna come, like here, mm -hmm. like it's kind of like got narrower over time. Like if this is too far, this is probably the best place to cut, like right where it is. Yeah, you can feel it. Like you just hold your fingers to feel the edge mm -hmm. of the here. Like, you see where so then when I cut, like I'm gonna try going like literally like this, like equally, so that this cut is like as clean as possible. But then like sometimes the spinal cord retracts, so right away, if you don't look, you're not gonna see. Do you see like the tiny? There, but like right here, like this like is the right the vertebra, right? Mm -hmm. So this is where the uh, I see just the tiny. Yeah, so little. I will cut a little bit so that you guys can see this time nicely. So I'm gonna cut a, just a little bit out. And then you will probably see a little bit easier. So do you see now? Like it's right here. Yeah. And you have to feel a little it's bit like with the, the spinal cord thing. as well. Yeah. Yep. But one good thing is it's a different color. <laughs> so this is where. And I kind of cut, like we can, this is totally, you know, for teaching purposes. So we can cut a little bit far, which is like almost the lumbar enlargement. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to cut and just to make you a little bit more convinced, like, okay, this is weird. But over time, you will get used to, like with that little, tiny little dot, like, nope, yeah. that's spider cord. Mm -hmm. Cut a little bit more. So do you now see? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's very clear, right? Like here. Yeah, yeah. So... Even if I push from here, I might be lucky and to still see the whole lumbar part. Because remember, like as you go down, it's almost like a cauda equina, and mm -hmm. that's where like things are much slower. But this is not 
your region of interest when the sciatic nerve um, synapses. That's actually at the part of your like right. lumbar enlargement. It's a little okay. It's a little up. It's not like the very far down the spinal cord mm -hmm. that I'm trying to get anyway. Um, it's just that like if I have that tail, mm -hmm. even if the spinal cord breaks, I know which way it is. Yes. Yeah. But if I cut too far, sometimes this part and this part would look the exact same. Yeah. <laughs> and that's kind of hard. You and the other thing is like of course the it. speed. Because like I said, when things are cold, it's the tissue is more like um, stiff. Mm -hmm. And as like things like as time goes by, it's just like becomes more and more kind of like, like the reality. issue we were having the last time. Yeah. Okay, so here again, this was easy. So I want you to feel. Go ahead and try doing it. Just don't poke it in my uh, Yes, no, we're not gonna so like right there. Do you feel it? Yes. Yeah. And it just so you have to go well, just a little bit more because I don't want that bevel is still up because you don't want to. I'm just terrified yeah. of hitting so your gonna, finger. <laughs> I know. I Do you want to feel it? Just for it with your own hand. Just feel it. Don't put it in your finger. Um, just feel it with your own hand. It's kind of like almost drilling. Yeah. 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 Can you see it? Yep. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how much I'm going to go with this needle bit. So one thing I do is I try to keep this whole thing straight. Like, do you see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I keep this whole thing, like with the fingers. I'm kind impressed of straight. by your hold. Yeah, and then I will put it in here again. And then I will slowly like almost drill the part so that I can get in a little bit more. You don't see the bevel of the needle anymore, no. right? And maybe a little bit more. I'll try going, but almost like, like a screwdriver than like rather than like pushing it mm -hmm. because remember it's muscle or tissue so if you are like trying to do hard it's simply gonna perforate either your finger yeah. or the tissue itself you simply like do how this. many times have you stuck it through your finger i didn't actually yeah there was well, not yet, once not there we go <laughs> don't say that <laughs> let's but not I, make today the first let me day. tell you this i get actually more worried when I see you guys doing it because it kind of like scares me to the death that like you guys will end up like having it. But like when I do it, I have, and then I want you to feel here as well. Like you'll see the, you'll like feel you'll the feel needle. the needle now. I'm like, this is all. Oh yeah. Oh my God, it's deep. Yeah. So I mean, this is pretty just... stiff. You would feel it, like how much I got yeah. into, right? So then I should feel some pressure. If I don't, that's a bad news, like I'm not <laughs> doing now because I cut too far. Like, essentially what happens is like when there's a big hole, you already gone through so much that there is no pressure to build. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you literally out. made extra space next mm -hmm. to the spinal cord with this <laughs> middle. <laughs> so that's when that's things That's going to be get, extra tissue coming out. Yeah, that's when it's hard, but I'm going to try anyway and see. Oops. Oh. It broke, but actually it's, it's better, better in a before. way yeah. that I can see. So here, look at this. Do you see how different the ventral part is? Mm -hmm. It's super wide and it has almost like a camel kind of mm -hmm. thing. That's when it tells it's the ventral part. And if I switch it, you're now gonna see how the dorsal would look like. So this part is obviously, as you know, the cervical or the upper part, mm -hmm. because that's more thick, right? Yeah. So if I simply split, like, you know, flip it. See, it kind of like stitch it down <laughs> if you're, Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, so yeah. now it's not that bad. It's mm. definitely better than Gorgeous. last time. Yeah. And it's, it's split so, like perfectly. Yeah, it's split light in the middle. And that happened because we caught too far a little bit. Just to, wanted to show you where things are. But here, again, that very white line mm -hmm. marks the dorsal part. Then the ventral, I have shown you like how different that is. Mm -hmm. So if you know the dorsal and ventral, the only other thing you need to know is like which side was sliding nerve, so which is on like if the mouse is like this, then this is like this side. Mm -hmm. So then you know like this is actually the part here is like your CCI side and, and this is your control side. Mm -hmm. So it's like similar idea of the brain. But anyway, so since it's broken, if I had to collect the tissue, this is where I'm gonna cut like I can straighten out oh, just a little bit. So this is exactly where, like, if it was the real nice tissue, do you see like how things got like 
Mm -hmm. Thin here, and this is where the largest part, mm -hmm. that's where the lumbar enlargement is. So I'm going to cut right here, right before, because this is L3 or 4. Mm -hmm. So I'll cut right before that, and then I'll also cut like right here, like when things are... Because after this, is this is like sacral okay. region, and then cut it when So for Wednesday, are you... Good uh, question. For Wednesday, all just we need is this whole thing. thing. Cool. So it's easy, you just Love wash that. it out. <laughs> And Ariana, do you want to practice yeah, the yeah. next one? Um, because I still would.